Hello everyone, welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Today we are going to be starting Chapter 1 in Defense of Brule. And it looks like we're going to start with a cutscene, so let's hop right into it. Rather happy music, considering what we've just gone through. <sighs> it's a very large windmill. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Handling war awfully well. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye and take care. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be seeing you again soon. Oh, that was a short one. Oh, there's more. How's the packing coming along, Is? That's Isara, his sister. Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. I wonder who is older. I'm guessing that he is older since he's at university. I mean, I guess she could be done with university, but... I'm thinking she's not yet there. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! A friend? Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> Welkies. You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Hello there. Um, it, is Welkin in? <laughs> she bringing us a gift. Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? Is that bread? Ha oh, bread. I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? Oh, God, that name. And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? <laughs> Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Ah. Uh. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. <laughs> That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep, it was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. Which one is Dad? I guess 
The one on the right looks slightly more decorated. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. Alicia seeing a future Welkin. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. Everybody has it in their voices that they're playing matchmaker. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm hmm So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. that sound oh god is that a meteor or is that like an attack ah uh, some kind of catapulted thing Taking over Burl. Oh, they destroyed the mill. You jerks. I don't believe it. The mill. Miss Melchia, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Wilkin. Now move out. Stay low. Looks like it's time for combat. Okay. Looks like we're gonna get a fight here, so I should probably save. And I guess it's fine to save over this. Explain the mission. Okay. I guess we are only getting one fight this chapter. The enemies invaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. 
will deploy from down here. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance toward the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. I'm pretty sure they'll be they'll be there in the plaza area. Be careful, there may be enemy units hiding behind the buildings out there. Hidden enemies won't show up in the command mode view, so be careful as you make your advance. Ooh. So we fail for the same reasons and we win if we kill the leader. Just the leader. Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. I wonder if they're going to show us where the leader is. And is the leader identifiable on this map? Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. A set amount of the damage a unit has sustained is healed every turn. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back and heal up. Should enemy attacks drive a unit's HP to zero, their condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's health reaches zero. Okay, so don't, don't die. We've got a town watchman on our side. We've got a scout and a crouching scout. Whoa, like even the map is kind of 3D. That's neat. All right, well, they said we wanted to get into like the mill plaza up here, so I guess we've got to fight our way through these two. All right. So, we'll take Alicia first this time. Okay. Uh, left button shows us the map. So those two guys are both facing us. Alright, so we'll use this building for cover. Hmm. Okay, the guy back there, it said, was crouched. So... Uh... So, it said that when we crouch behind sandbags that headshots don't register. I wonder if that's also true for enemies. But this guy in front I should be able to kill. So let me try to knock out this guy in front and then crouch down behind the sandbag that's right there. Alright, here goes. Oh. When a unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear. That line connects the unit to the enemy. Okay. Go! Oh, we are taking damage. Yes. Okay. Oh, good. They're going to explain this stuff. Damage against human targets, damage against tanks and armor. Okay. Zero, or circle is effective. Triangle is slightly effective. And X is ineffective. Area shows whether the attack will damage... Oh, area effect, I see. Okay, so those two columns are what we thought. Get the center of the crosshairs, okay? Alright. So, let's kill this guy. And then run up and hide behind that sandbag. Then we'll end our turn here. Okay. Now we'll 
take Welkin. Here we go. Hope that guy misses us a lot. Oh, there's two of them. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh... Alright, what are my options here? I could just run away. Try to get around that building. That guy right there won't be able to see Alicia unless he moves. This guy will totally shoot at Alicia. Oh man. Even if I get around the barricade, it still gives him cover. Welkin doesn't have any, like, grenades or anything. I think I'm gonna just run. And see what happens if I just try to run around the building. I can probably take this guy out. Can I see the leader here? Yeah, not yet. Alright. There we go. I'm gonna get behind these sandbags up here. Yes. Don't die, Wilkin. There's somebody over there. But I'm like almost dead, so I think I should end my turn here. Alright. Uh who is this guy? He's got 110 health, but he's purple does that mean oh wait there's a badge too yeah i noticed that uh welkin and alicia have badges but this town watchman doesn't see what i mean like right next to their portrait in the lower right i think maybe that indicates that like i lose if they die and maybe this guy's badge means i win if he dies so let me uh I could just try shooting him with Welkin. I only have one command point, though. So the problem is if I... If I shoot at him with Welkin... First of all, the second I select Welkin, two people are going to be shooting at me, and that's probably bad. Ooh, these guys are facing the other way now. Alright, here's my plan. I'm going to take Alicia. I'm going to run past these guys really quick while they're, like, looking up at Welkin. I'm going to take Alicia, hop over the sandbag here. Assuming I have enough stamina to do this. And I'm going to run Alicia like over to maybe here. And then I'm going to try hitting this guy with a grenade. I want to see what happens. Uh, how do I jump over sandbags? What's the button for that? X is, uh, A is the button to crouch. X is the button to change weapons, so maybe it's like Y? I'll try... A B ends turn, so I'll try Y. Alright, here goes. Oh, she's kind of damaged too. I hope I don't get her killed. Okay. Oh, they saw me. Run. Run, Alicia. Run faster. Hop over the sandbag. Nope. How do I go over? Oh, you just run at it. Okay, run over here. Target. Switch to grenade. And let's... Oh, it turns yellow. That's nice. Alright, let's put a grenade on this guy and see what happens. Please hit. And then I should probably run away so I don't get blown up by it. Oh, well that was easy. So grenades do a ton of damage. That's good to know. That explains why you only get one of them. Now, will I have that grenade for the next for the next mission, or do I lose it Sounds for good? Like a tank. Uh oh. That is probably an imp an imperial tank. We'll hit that thing in the back. Clearly. Oh God.
What are we gonna do again? Maybe I should have saved that grenade. <laughs> oh no! Wait, it's not over? Oh crap, I thought we won once we killed the commander. Maybe that guy wasn't the commander. Okay, so she's just futilely shooting at this tank. Shoot the blue thing in the back. Oh no. All my peeps are dying. Oh, the tank took took two of the enemy's badges to move. Like two of the command points. Oh, I probably shouldn't use that grenade. Maybe the town watchman has a grenade. But he's like almost dead from that tank shot. Walking tank! That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Welkin reaches the destination. Alright, so we gotta move Welkin. The alley to the east. I guess that's this marker down here. Oh god, but look how many people there are between us. That's the tank, and it's looking this way. Okay, so if I take Welkin, who's here... Oh, he's got full stamina bar, at least. Alright, so let's say I can run around this thing here, maybe. I guess this is a building. So, I could get, like, a sneak attack on this guy. That these guys have like I don't think I have any way of hurting this unless the town watchman has a grenade uh okay well we need to take Welkin so let me select him Here we go all right go over this thing around here crouch and sneak Oh god, this is not good. Run! Run, Wilkin! Run! Go over the thing! No! Climb over! Climb over! Climb over! Oh, I'm totally getting my guy killed. Oh! I didn't think I was there yet. Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? <laughs> He just made a suicide run for the alley. If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. So you're gonna drag your pregnant. I don't know whether she's like a, a housekeeper or a, or like, I guess she's not the mom because they're calling her Martha. <laughs> so housekeeper, you're bringing your pregnant housekeeper back into battle. Be careful out there, welcome. Well, I think we did good. So, uh, we got an A. We got some bonus points for killing an enemy leader. And we got 2,290 DCT. I'm not sure what I do with this experience yet. Chapter 2. Escape from Brule. Have I opened anything here? No. Nope. Okay, well. Let's, uh... I wonder if I should do, like, a different save for every chapter or something. Hmm.
No, I think I'm okay to save over. I mean, I think I got a good score on both of the combat missions, so... That'll do. Okay. I'm gonna cut this one. Kind of short video. But I'm gonna try to, to keep this to, like, one book chapter per day, if possible. So, thanks for watching, and I'll record another one right after this. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>